Welcome to the 2009 Basketball Manager of Super, Super Coaches Clinic. Uh, my name is Adam Ludlick. I'm your MC for today. I'm Executive Director here at Basketball Manitoba. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge a few different groups and, uh, and people that helped make this, this weekend possible. Uh, for starters, the uh, new partnership we've created with the University of Winnipeg here and the University of Manitoba has been instrumental to make this uh, weekend possible. What we did is we've, we've combined the number of clinics that the two universities have run over the years and uh, made it into this uh, one large weekend super clinic. Uh, so it's been a very positive uh, first year and this is our plan to continue with this for the future. So that's uh, uh, huge and of course we'd like to uh, pay special thanks to the University of Winnipeg for hosting us this weekend. Our plan for next year was we would be at the University of Manitoba and move back and forth year to year. Um, also a huge acknowledgement to the Winnipeg Minor basketball coaches who are here present uh, and the association itself uh, who uh, did step forward and offer to cover the cost of every coach in their league, which is the first time that's ever happened. So that's a huge, huge thanks to the WNBA for their uh, part of being uh, part of this weekend here. So before we get started, there's just a couple of uh, administrative pieces that we want to uh, uh, just touch on just so that uh, everybody's aware of what's going on. Uh, we are going to start today at 9. That's our official time up on the, on the clock there. We're going to try to keep things as tight as we can as, uh, as the schedule shows. Um, we will have uh, lunch at noon and that will be up in the second floor area. Um, and uh, Subway is uh, providing us lunch today and that will be noon till 12.30. Uh, 12.45 is when our uh, next session will start just after, uh, after the lunch. Uh, that will be back here in the, in the, in the gym. Uh, all the sessions are in the gym today. Uh, we do have about a five minute period after each presentation if there are any questions from, the, uh, from yourselves. So if you have ones, a uh, coach might ask during the session if you have a question. By all means, throw your hand up and uh, uh, this is for, definitely for your benefit. Uh, so take, definitely take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, but we do have five minutes or so at the end of each session that uh, we do have some time set aside. Um, you uh, should have received your coach's package at the front when you did sign in. Uh, just going over it quickly just so that we haven't missed anything. One thing that's uh, quite small, and I think I may have, here's mine here, uh, is your Westman season pass. That's got some actual value to it, monetary value, so um, look for it, take it out. It's slippery and small, so uh, it can easily fall out of your package. Put it in your wallet or purse, put that aside so that uh, you have that. The uh, Bison contribution to the, uh, to the tickets is a yellow flyer that's in your package and that uh, uh, invites your entire team out to one of their games uh, during this coming season. There are schedule pack, uh, pocket schedules in, in your packages as well, the uh, Western and Bison schedule, so you can uh, find when their games are happening. Uh, there are games this weekend, uh, tonight at 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock here tonight at the Duckworth Center, uh, men's basketball. We have uh, the Westman and Bison hosting the uh, Laurentian Voyageurs and Concordia Stingers. And out at the University of Manitoba tonight, 6 and 8 o'clock as well, uh, U of M and U of W hosting uh, Saskatchewan and Toronto out at the Investors Group Athletic Center. So definitely we want to support and thank our uh, local universities for their contribution this weekend. Um, I'm going to talk about the remaining parts of your coach's package. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, but I'll touch on that throughout the day uh, just to highlight a few items in there. Uh, with regards to the dry erase coaches boards that you did receive, uh, the plastic cases, if you want to take those off, we'll have boxes up at the top of the stairs and we'll just recycle those, uh, the plastic containers. Make sure you take the pen out of it. There was a few yesterday that we saw that had a pen still stuck in it, so take that out. That's the dry erase marker that you can use on the, on the board. Uh, all videos, all of the sessions this weekend will be videotaped. Uh, you can see the camera in the middle of the, cr of the crowd there. Uh, they'll be up online and it'll be exclusive to those that were at the clinic. And that includes yesterday's sessions. If you missed them yesterday or if you're at yesterday's session and you missed today's, you can see the entire weekend online in a streaming video format and that'll be on the Basketball Manitoba website. Uh, in about 10 days, you'll get an email from us saying that they are up. And it is, again, exclusive for the month of November and after in December we'll make it available to anybody who wants to see it. We will build a database or a, uh, a record over the years as this clinic continues. So these, those videos will be up there for uh, uh, forever, I guess. Um, we have a number of uh, members of our CP and RTC programs here demonstrating uh, throughout the day. And just to, uh, just to mention their names because like most students at 9 o'clock on a Saturday morning, they prefer to probably be doing something else like sleeping. And they were here yesterday as well on, a, on an in-service day where all their friends are sleeping or maybe hanging out the mall. 
So just to mention their names, we have uh, Ella Greer, Megan Harlock, uh, Tanisha Graves, Brittany Coop, Carrie Kuzbit, Maria Barbosa, Emily Mann, Jordine Kowalchuk, Patrick Mart, Jordan Kelly, AJ Bassi, Nathan Warburton, and Christian Lamont. So maybe just a little round of applause to thank them for demonstrating and giving us some visuals of what the demonstrators are talking about. Uh, yesterday was a bit more of a challenge with parking, being it was a work day and uh, classes, university classes were in, but just to be aware that most side streets uh, in the downtown area limit you to only two hours of parking. Uh, hopefully you did notice that when you parked, if you had a parkade or at an in-park lot, you're probably fine, or you are fine, but if you did park on a side street that did, does have meters, typically it's only two hours. It's no cost, but it is limited to two hours, just a, a heads up so that there's no surprises when you leave today. Uh, we do have a clinic store which is now open at the top of the stairs there. We are selling a variety of things including uh, FIBA rule books, score sheets, whistles, and a defensive basketball book uh, by uh, local coach Rick Suffield and they're all at reduced rates than normal prices uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the day today. We will be drawing for door prizes throughout the day as well so uh, when you did register either yesterday or today you would have received in the back of your badge a small door prize ticket. Hopefully you've already put it at the top of the stairs in that basketball drum. We'll be bringing that down here later uh, uh, in, in a few minutes so if you haven't already put yours in uh, please fill it out with your name and school or club name and we'll get uh, those door prizes flowing at the, end, at the end of each session. The big one, we are going to be doing that at the end of today which is a trip for uh, one coach to go to Las Vegas in, uh, in May of 2010 and that includes airfare from Winnipeg uh, Hotel and the cost of the coaches clinic. Uh, the 2010 Nike Championship Coaches Clinic is the big, the biggest coaches clinic in the world. It usually draws two to three thousand coaches and it's got the who's who of, of uh, the US coaching system presenting at it. So uh, we'll be drawing that at the end of the last session today. Uh, you don't need to be in attendance to win. We would be sort of being nice to our Friday coaches that were here just yesterday. It would be nice if one of our wonderful Saturday crowd would win, but we are not making that a requirement. We are making it a requirement that you do be here to win if you are getting any of the other door prizes which are laid, laid out in front of me here. Uh, so that's the only requirement, but uh, just as a awareness that when I call the name and nobody puts their hand up, there's no booze or people throwing, throwing things at me. So. Um, and if you could also just turn your cell phones, if you have one on to vibrate or turn it off, we are videotaping and, and just to be a, a nice neighbor to uh, everybody around you, not to be distracting and including the pres uh, presenter, so if you could uh, take care of that. So uh, I'm already four minutes over. We're going to get going right now here with, uh, with Coach Steve Brown from the Minnesota Timberwolves uh, Youth Programming. So uh, Steve's already been talking with some of his uh, demonstrators there. We're going to get things kicking right off right now. Uh, Steve has been involved with basketball for over 35 years. Uh, he played his basketball at South Dakota State University and has also worked with a number of programs including his alma mater as a coach. Uh, also at Dickinson State College, the University of Minnesota and Michigan Tech University. Uh, currently Steve's the Minnesota Region Director of the National Basketball Academy in Minneapolis and manages the Community Player Development Program with the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Lynx. Uh, Steve is also running a, a players camp. He's out of here right away as soon as the, his session's done uh, with about 100 young players over at Tech Vock High School today. Uh, he did that yesterday as well, so uh, we're definitely taking advantage of Steve's time when he's here in Winnipeg. So Steve's going to talk about uh, fundamental skills and drills for youth basketball. And uh, without further ado, please help me welcome Coach Steve Brown. Testing. Testing. Hear me? Hey, thank you for having us back. And I know we got uh, uh, some new ones along with yesterday. And I, uh, was, yesterday was a lot of fun. And these guys here are great. And uh, I've reminded them to make sure we get some pictures and get their addresses. And Coach Bear, maybe tickets. We'll have to work something out with them. I want to introduce Matt Bear. Stand up, Matt. Matt is uh, he's in charge. He's our senior executive sales director. And in the last uh, year and a half, he's also become an assistant basketball coach. <laughs> he does a great job with us. Yesterday was really well. Um, we're going to get after this real quick, as you guys know. There's a, we got some new ones, along with some uh, repeaters, which I like. Um, I just want to talk 
I'll give a couple minutes on youth basketball because I've been there too. Um, I'm in a suburb outside Minneapolis called Chanhassen, Chaska area. And uh, when I came back about eight years ago to Minneapolis, guys, I used to coach at the University of Minnesota as an assistant basketball coach, and some of the former players were there, and I ended up start, you know, when you look at me, I'm old now, and some of those guys are recycling with their kids, so I started coaching their kids. What really developed, and really it's all worked in my way back into here being with the Timberwolves, with all the, as you guys know, the, the contacts you make and the things you do over your life, uh, you know, just keep meeting people and, and things work out and do a good job and work hard. And, well, one thing led to another, and uh, a couple years ago, I was telling you yesterday, uh, both boys and girls I've coached, I didn't mention that yesterday, um, and it ended up being like in Atlanta at one time, fall ball, I coached girls who are still playing in the WNBA, Nakia Sanford, she played for us in Atlanta when I lived in Atlanta, and then we have uh, uh, Jim Peterson, who's our color analyst, John Shasky, those guys played in the NBA, so, but I've coached also that seventh grade team in Chaska, which are all freshmen today, and two years ago, we won the state championship at the highest level. And yeah, that, that's, that's quite an honor, but it isn't because we had the best players all the time. But it's what I was teaching you guys yesterday, and what we'll show you again today. We're going to repeat a few of those yes, drills we did yesterday for some of you that are new today. Then I'll add some stuff. But when you coach youth basketball, you know, I, I just said we won a state championship, and that had nothing to do. I'm not about winning at that level. Teaching kids how to play is what it's all about. The reason that team got better is because we worked on all the stuff we worked on yesterday and a lot more stuff every night in practice. We didn't get caught up in running plays. I don't even know if I ran an offensive play for the first month. I told them, what you're going to do is you're going to learn how to play defense. You're going to learn how to pass the basketball. You're going to learn spacing. And you're going to play together. And if you do those things all the time, play hard, play smart, play together, you have a chance to win. And as the course of the year went on, I told them that uh, well, we started in November. By the end of January, Watch where you're at. Well, we end up winning the last four or five tournaments because those kids believed in what I was doing, which I'm going to tell you guys. You got to get them to believe in you, show the passion, be enthusiastic all the time, and you also have to make sure you keep it fun. You know, and you work them hard. I, I mean, I worked them hard and I made it very competitive, but they knew that, you know, they wanted to be players someday. The unfortunate thing for those kids now, and I love them all dearly, is that last year, this year, they've all split schools. Chanhassen, Chaska, they built a brand new high school. Four of those kids now are playing at Chanhassen, four at Chaska, so they're not going to play together in their high school basketball. But you know, that's the way it is. But the thing about youth basketball, you know, keep, keep it, keep it fun, be enthusiastic, be passionate, teach them fundamentals, teach them fundamentals, and then do the, do the drills that, uh, that will t make those fundamentals even better, and then get them working together. I could talk forever on all that, but the thing I'm going to relay that to is right to, to all the levels of college, even guys in the NBA. You know, Mark Madsen played for us for how many years, Bear? Played in the NBA eight, ten years. Unfortunately, we let him go. Uh, we traded him to Cleveland. He's been released. Now, bring out Mark, probably the greatest guy in the world. Un, 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 played at where? Stanford? Just unbelievable. I'm, going, I'm giving a clinic one time, and Madsen's there. Now, here's a guy that's played at Stanford. He's played all over. And, you know, Madison isn't probably the greatest shooter in the world. I can't even describe how he shoots the basketball. So go over to him and I say, hey, Mark. He says, Bronny, can you help me? And I go, let's just look at it. In about 10 minutes, we changed everything. And he goes, you know what? I've played all over the world, and I've never had anybody show me that. What I'm saying is don't take anything for granted with anybody you work with. I don't care if that kid is a scholar. He scores 30 points a game. Yesterday, I brought up the high school kid that you guys are working with right now. He's going to be the all-time leading scorer in the state of Minnesota when it's done this year. But we're started working. His footwork, the way he has his hand on the ball, all that stuff, he needs to get better. He's going to Boston College next year. But, you know, the level of competition he's played at, he's never had to perfect all those skills. So it doesn't matter if you're playing sixth grade or you're playing uh, Division I, Division II, or in the NBA, they all fundamentally, these guys lack a lot of that stuff. Now, with that being said, we're going to get right into this thing. And the first drill we did yesterday showed you, it, I always call it the L. Jefferson progression stuff, but it can be used everywhere. And why we use L. Jefferson, you know, he's our most famous player, and uh, his footwork is really, really good. And I think a lot of you guys, from what I heard, really like this. And all you youth basketball coaches, you need to see this too. So look, uh, let's get spread out on where you're supposed to be yesterday. Elbow, wing, elbow, wing. And you can use this every place, 
on the floor. And you can also use it right here at the post. Now, just really quick, I'm going to go through this. Now, I'm big on reverse pivot. Now, most people get their hand behind the back, and if somebody's behind them, what's the common thing to do? They go here, or they go here. I like to have it where I've got the ball, boom, I reverse pivot. And I reverse pivot on my left foot because I'm right-handed. And I, I really believe in that. I want to free up my strong side, and that's my, le that's my right side. So with that being said, some of these were here yesterday, so we'll go through this quick, but you need to see this. So <clears throat> I've reverse pivoted. I always fake shot. I jab. I can do one, four things. I can come right back to shoot it. I can jab, I can take him, I can come in with the baby hook with a little crab dribble. I can jab, fake, reverse, cross over, and come in. And then, you know, the thing real important there yesterday, you, not many of you play, players you're probably coaching can go up and dunk it, okay? So when you do this, you have to make sure, you know, and I play a lot down here, and I know I'm only 5'10", but you got to learn how to control your body, too. I'm here. Ball's out in front of me. I'm protected. Nobody can block that shot. I don't care if he's 6'10". But if I come in and make a great move on this person, and I come right back in like this, you guys all know that. Boom. It's going the other way. Then the last thing is where you fake shot. You know, I'm always big on jab. Jab, 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 jab. Come, drop, shot. And when you get really good at this, you take it, jab, boom, drop. Same thing, okay? Now, all you guys got that? Try that. They can do it at all four spots, okay? Has them do it, just try it. Now, the only thing I'm going to tell you out here, if I get the ball on the wing out here, I'm not reverse pivoting because my left foot is forward. So now I'm coming this way, and then the same moves can be made, okay? As they're doing some of this, I'm going to talk about some other things of getting the ball on the wing. If I get the ball out here and jab, I'm big on rip cross too, okay? So, you know, you watch Kobe. Kobe might do this four or five times. He's got what we call a little first jab, then a big jab, and watch him play, but he's always jabbing somebody, and that's important. And then taking your ball with you. Ball and foot go together at all times. No matter what you do, if you heard me for five hours today, I'm going to tell you everything we do, from everything I'm doing, my lead foot is always going to be my ball and my foot. So I'm jabbing, the ball's outside my hip, it's outside my knee, and if I rip cross, it's coming low, and I'm coming always back, and try to get your foot so it goes towards the basket. You don't want, you don't want to jab towards the wall or away from that. How are we doing here, guys? Boom. Guys, show this big kid here how to do it. He was gone yesterday. Oh, let's go the other way, though. It's good. Good. And everybody can do this. Guard, post, everybody. We have work on a lot. It's a good drill. And I'll finish a little bit early in case anybody got any questions. But like right here, you're catching it, boom, faking, you got all the moves. And you know, here's the last thing I'll say about this. If you're going to make it on this side and you want to come to the middle, you can jab this. Here's how I do this. You guys all know this. You don't want to come out here, rip cross, and then jab back to the middle. So all our jab, we're going to make that, we're going to make that spin move. We're coming here. We're coming away from the defense. And as most of you guys are probably set up in your offenses, you're probably going to have maybe one guy max on this side because you're going to free him up so he can go one-on-one -on -one, or if somebody does drop down on the weak side, then you can dish it out to him. Okay? All right. Let's go get to that other drill. That ah, Kurt Rambis, as you know, is our new basketball coach, the Timberwolves. Had a lot of excitement. We've got a lot of things going on. It's a young team, though. You know, Kevin Love's out for eight weeks with a broken hand. Jefferson didn't play this week. I didn't see a box score. I saw we beat Toronto last night. Toronto's got a heck of a basketball team, but I'm sure uh, not everybody played. But here's one of the drills Rambus is installing because he wants to run, run, run. He wants us eventually to be like the L.A. Lakers. It's going to take some time, though, because no matter what, all you coaches can attest to that. No matter how good a coach you think you are, you've got to have some players. And right now, we've got to get some players to go along with that and get into a system. Teaching a new system is hard to do, too, as you guys well know that. And so between teaching a new system, developing the players into that system, and then you know, overcoming all the injuries, uh, it's going to be a little while. All right. Remember that drill? Who's familiar with it? I want the one person right in the middle here, and then the two on the wing. What he's doing with this, he likes to do is he wants his post players to run. He'll take his, you can do it guard on guard, but when these guys are going to do it just to show it to you, but what he'll do is take two guards, put a guard right there, go there, T. All right, what's your name again? AJ. And you are Brittany? 
All right. All right. I'm going to throw the ball to Brittany. As soon as I throw the ball to Brittany, she is taking off like a bat. She's just going. She, her job is to score and not have these two take the ball from her. What he likes to do is make sure he's getting the big guys to handle the basketball, pressure coming from behind, and if she scores, boo, the guards do a lot of conditioning after that because the guards should be taking the ball from her. And then vice versa, you can have the bigs on bigs, you can have the guards on guards, but it starts out this way. So as soon as, and you can't leave, and you cheated a couple times yesterday, all right? When do you leave? When she catches it. Ready? Go! All right, then give me three more in there, three more in there. Here you go, here you go. Let's go. You know what you're doing right here? Now we're cheating, all right? Like, bigs are going after the smalls. Go get him, okay? Coach wants to get him. Go! We'll do it a few times. Here we go. That's it. All right, good hustle. A little bit farther back, Megan. Go. That's it. Make sure to get a few of you in the middle here to show everybody the drill. There we go. Good. And like a lot of uh, teach this too, because we do a lot of, and all the coaching I've ever did, I'm a fast, fast break type of guy. I like to get the ball out. I play a lot of, I'm all man to man, unless, you know, a certain thing would call for the zones. But handling the basketball too, if you take that to about the third dribble one way, you need to get back in another hand. And, you know, don't take for granted kids know that because how many times they come up from behind. Switch that ball over back and forth or get that speed dribble out so the ball's more in the middle of you. But you can't keep dribbling it on the same side all the time. There you go. Come on, come on! Oh! Oh! All right. All right, last time. Here we go. Go. There you go. All right, give me the guys. Let's do it. You want... Hey, did you get in the middle yet? Have you been in the middle? Is that you that just dunked it? Hold it, though. I want the two guards here. Let's do it the way. You get in the middle. All right, here's how the drill originally works. I know you want to play in the middle. All right. Get a little bit close. You're cheating a little bit. Last time, go. There you go. Way to handle the ball. That's it. Good. Way to protect it. There. That's almost. That's really good. Good job. All right. Now, how many do we got? Let's show you a little bit of. Uh, we got five and five. Okay. Give me five girls right here. Just get in a little circle right here. You five guys. You get right here in a little circle. This is a good drill for transition. We're going to talk about it. Guys, five guys. There's only other than Megan, you come out here too. We'll, okay. Um, no. Here's what we'll do. All right. This is like a real quick transition drill, okay? You can do this. I'm, I'm sure there's some where you line up five on five, throw the ball to somebody, that person goes to touch the line. I saw this in a coaching clinic a while back, and I like this drill. You guys just sort of get yourselves right together. Two things these guys got to do on defense. They got to point and they got to talk and they got to cover somebody. They got to get back. They're pointing at somebody the whole time, which I want you to do. What I'm going to do is just throw the ball right in there. Whoever grabs it, those five are going on a fast break. Okay, they're just taking off. You five, as soon as you see them, you get them angled. You can angle it here. You can angle it back where you want to angle it. But once that happens, they get the ball. You five take off and you guys got to point, talk who's got the ball. Point, talk, point, talk, point, talk. All right? It's a good drill. Get back. You guys keep everybody in front of you. Oh, yeah, see, they already point who they got. You don't know who you got. You guys run around a little bit. Here you go. Ready? All right, here's a go. Get up a little higher. Get up there. Boom. Get up a little farther. You guys do that. Ready? Go, 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 go. Point top. Point top. Who you got? You got point top. Don't want point top. You guys as coaches do anything you want to do. Okay, good. Stop. I know. I'm taking the fun out of this thing. Here you go. Okay, guys, you're right here. Girls, you're out there. Let's go real quick. You know, and you make sure... They do it right all the time. Point. You guys, hey, all five of you are pointing who you got, and somebody's got to call, you got to talk, and you got to make sure somebody's got the ball. Hey, go, 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 come on, go. So, see, ho, ho, ho. Where are you talking, Emily? I know, I'm not going to pick any, but see, you're all looking at somebody else. Well, she's got who? Who's open? Get somebody, the nearest, nearest person to you, you take them. And then you point, you get a point right away. As soon as I got the ball, bring it up. We'll go one more time. Get on this side of the court, girls. We'll go that way. All right. Get in here real quick. 
You guys, hey, I know you don't know everybody, but that's why you point. You know, whatever, just point whatever you got to talk. Go, Manitoba. I got Manitoba. Whatever you got to do, learn to talk, okay? Go, go. Go, move. So who's got her horse, see? There you go. They'll be running or doing push-ups all night after that. Five on five, and a girl gets a wide-open layup. What is that? Huh? All right, back here. Guys got it right here. Girls, one more time. All right, here you go. Hey, keep them in front of you. That's another main thing. Always keep them in front of you. Ready? Go. Let's go. Go get him, Megan. Go. Point. Point. Who's got who? Go get him. Go get him. That's it. Brittany, good. Box out. Oh, Britt. Britt. I know. I didn't make it hard. No, that's all right. That was good defense. We're on challenge. Okay. Ben, you did that, Britton. Let's just make this drill real close. I'm going through a lot of things real quick. <clears throat> Remember the three-on-three -three closeout I just did? I had a girl. I had somebody up here. Wing, wing. And gave me two people in the block, in the lane, and one here playing defense. <clears throat> all right, get out here a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to go through two defensive drills we use a lot. I use a lot all the time. <clears throat> Just get in the lane. Get in the lane. Oops. Did I go? Okay, okay. All right, get in the lane a little bit more. Two feet in the lane. Two feet in the lane. Now, you do this drill sort of just, the girl out here is guarding me. The person out here is guarding me, okay? The drill is real simple. I want to be able to, she's got to be able to take, the person in the lane is going to take the charge, and then she's going to close and recover real quick. Just a simple drill, but you beat it into them, and you beat them in, and then you can play as hard as you want. But here's how it's demonstrated. I'm, she's going to let me sort of come right in here, stepping in for the charge. I'm going to get the ball out here. Now, you teach whatever you want to teach, how you want to go play defense. She's out there. I like the way she does this like this. Now, this is my belief when I play defense. You come out here like this, and you got both feet sitting like this. I'm going to score on you. I'm going to score on you at will. Because you're coming out and you got both feet. I can go both ways on you. Now, everybody teaches it differently. I'm always a baseline type guy. So what I want these people to come out, boom. I'm right here. And I know I got her. My top foot's on top. If she wanted to come here, I'm just going to close her off this. Or if she wanted to go here, I'm going to have help there, okay? So then the drill will come back. So get out there and do that. Get out there. Get out there. Then she's just going to throw the ball back to the point. You're just going to come here. And now you're going to come. You're going to let me come right down here again. Boom. Close me out. Boom. Step. You want to make sure there, boom. Then get out there. Close. Boy, I tell you, that Brittany, she listens. She's good. Good. That's the drill. But, you know, you do it over and over and over. So let's do it. So give me somebody out here and play the guard real quick. You guys are wearing me out. I got six more hours after this. Okay, here you go. Just dribble down. Dribble down. Take the charge. Close. That's it. Back. Go the other way. Go the other way. Real quick. Real quick. Very quick. Close. Close. All right, good. Switch around. Girls play offense. The guys play defense. Simple but effective. Get out here, just go, go here, go. Get in the other lane. All them got to start on the line. Okay, here you go, really good. One time, go. Good. All right, go get the ball over here. Come on, go over, get the ball. Get first, forget first name again. Carry. Just get the ball. Oh. All right, boom. Bring it over, swing, go down, dribble down. Now, that's one thing we don't do. Carry, watch. That's okay. Everybody that dribbles the ball, you don't dribble in there. You're coming right down here. Boom, come on. Get in here. Both feet, both feet. Boom. Then get the ball out. I know it's 9 in the morning. Is that slow motion? Huh? Can you be any slower? Huh? Okay, I know. Okay. Get out there and go get him. Or go get her. All right? All right, get in there. Here you go. Go. Boom. Take a try. Oh, Megan, don't cheat, though. Megan, oh. You see Megan there? You know it's a drill. Megan's already ready to go out here. First responsibility. We had two things in all the teams I've ever coached. You don't give up a layup, and you don't give up a three-pointer. The three-pointer better have a hand in the face. It better be covered. And you know what? Believe me, I don't care if they're grade seven or if they're playing at uh, Division One. Same thing taught. Same, don't give up layups. Same thing in the NBA. You don't give up layups. So you don't come in here and do fly-by, and I know you coaches know that. You're in here. Make sure this is taken away first because you never know. They may make a terrible pass out somebody. You've got to get right back. That's why this is good like that because it's much quicker than coming out here doing that. That's my belief. Get out there, have your own philosophy, your own belief. One more time each way, and we're done with the drill. I'll show you one more defensive drill. Take it. Go, get out. There you go. Good. Go the other way. Go. Down. Get out there. There. All right. Say right where you're at. <clears throat> Same group. I know you other guys. We'll put you in the fast break drill in a minute. Say where you're at. Now, here's another drill. Throw the ball in the wing. Go out and cover like we showed you to cover. No. Not like that. You want to come out. 
You never come out just straight up. Boom, right in here. Get in here. There's what you want. Okay, get out there. There you go. And you also, you guys know, you don't get so close to the defender. You want to get so your hand away, so whichever way they go, you can make them go. You don't come up and body them unless you can get, they'll go right by you. Now, here's the drill. So, she throws the ball. This person here is going to step, one, and cut to the basket. Boom. You're going to come on. Do that one more time. Step. Pass. Boom. Step. Boom. You're bumping, coming right here. All right? Always face, okay? You know how many of your kids always end up doing this? Or they get beat by a lick like this? This drill we worked on and worked on because nobody gets a cutter in the basket for a layup. So the drill is that she'll come through. She's going to end up going over there. At the same time, what's your name? Christian is doing what would I want him to do? He's got two feet in the lane. Defense. He's one, one just hang on right where you're at. He's about one foot off the line of the ball. Can see her, see there. And for drill purposes, what happens? When that happens, you come down hard and plant with your left foot and go high. Boom. And you come right back up in here, okay? Then get her the ball. All right? And then you're right here, and you can steal. You know that drill we did yesterday, that beat the ball drill? That's where that comes in. So get back over there, carry. Get with her. Then reverse it all the time. Throw the ball back over here. Step. Boom. Step. Cut. Boom. Right her out. Come on down. T. T. Come on down. Is it Megan? And Megan, when the ball's over there. When the ball goes over there, where are you at? And you guys all know as coaches, too, what we teach is that when you bump her, and she's coming this way, I'm here, and we're okay, because guess who, who's over here? We have help side. That's her first responsibility. She's down here helping. That ball, he wants to lob it in here. We got a steal. We're on the fast break. If they go back out, she's quick enough to come back out here. If she can't get the steal, fine. But now they're out here, and they got to run their offense from the top, okay? Can we run that through one time real quick? Just go back and forth, and then we'll quit on it. All right, here you go. Bump. Good. Good. Come on down. Great. Slide up. Good. Good. Swing it. Swing it. Let me have the ball. Good. Bump. 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 Good. All right, come up. We get that footwork, Megan. Uh, come on. No. So oh, perfect. Get right there. Get right there. Now hang on. Stay right where you're at. This is why it's coaching 101. Megan, right there. She posts you up. That's what we don't want. You guys all see that. See what she's doing? Behind the ball. Here's where you're at. Go back out there, T. She's going to come this way one more time. Come. You're bumping her and riding her. And ride her all the way out. See that? Then go all the way through, T. Boom. Come on up. Go. Swing it. See that? Bump. Go, carry. That's it. Good job. Good. Get up. Move the feet. Good. Good. All right, good. Good. That is that. You can call any drill you want to do. Let's do one thing for these other guys here. Remember that little beat the ball drill real quick? Give me one guy in the middle. Uh, and give me ball. Let's do this. Ball here, ball there. Remember the two-passer drill? Got one guy playing D. Get a ball. This. What's your name? Uh, AJ. Get AJ the ball. Uh, where's my man? Right here. Uh, name? Right. Patrick? You're right here. Brittany, right there. You guys are off. All right, now, same thing here real quick. You never play where you're just completely open naturally so she doesn't come in. Always you have a foot behind her. You never got the foot up on her, back door is your beep. You got her right here. What she's going to do is just, just for drill purposes again, uh, just run to the top of the key. You're going to slide up with her, boom, pass the ball, knock it down, take off, right down there, boom. And that's what you do. Let's do it a couple times, we're done. So you teach the kids how to get the ball. How many kids will go out here and instead of doing this, now you get them in basketball positions where you want them, but if you come out here and do this, you know what happens. Gone, gone, gone. Okay? Here you go. So keep them front. Go, hand up, hand up. Good. Beat it. Go. Back. Sprint. Good. You two big guys get in there. You didn't do this yesterday. You got that? These guys are rookies today to this. All right, get up on the block, number one, right there. So you're just coming right to me. Get the hands up. Hands up. Get on. Basketball position. Go. Sit. Go. Go. All right. Good. Turn around. Do it again. Then I'm going to put you two girls in there because you weren't here yesterday either. Right? All right. One more time. Switch around. You guys position. All right. Get up. Whoa. whoa, whoa. See who? Coach is judging. Where's your back? There you go. There you go. And just again, don't take for granted. First thing when we talk about anything we ever do 
in basketball, it's basketball position. People think, well, you're in defense position. Well, here I might be, but your knees are always over, the ball's your feet. You're playing the ball's your feet. You're playing the ball's your feet. Offense is ball's the feet. Everything, you're pushing, pushing, pushing. Knees over, knees are over, your ball's your feet, and your shoulders are slightly forward, so they're over your knees. And if you look at me at 5'10", I didn't have a, you know, I played a lot. I had to do all this stuff. I had to take big steps because, you know, I was playing against guys so much bigger than me. Use the footwork, footwork, and take advantage of all that. These guys here are 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, are you taller? All right, but don't play like this. Don't stand here and do this. Get down here and get low already and move the balls to your feet. Ready? Go, hands up, move. Push, push, push. Sprint, sprint. All right, you two girls are getting here. You sat it? No, we're done. Well, Megan, you didn't do it either, did you? Real quick, we got some time. We're doing well. Go. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. You see this, coaches? Now, Emily, here's, you're going to get better at this the next time. You come here, you don't run with her like this, right? There you go. Foot's behind her. You're sliding, pushing. Everything's pushing off one foot or the other in a game of basketball, okay? Push, push, push. Go. Sit back. Sprint, sprint. That's it, good. That's too far to go. Okay. Megan, do it. No, switch around. You guys do it, and then we'll go fast break real quick. Yeah, do it. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. You guys both did it, right? All right first of all, Megan, get up a little higher, though. Make sure your back foot's back. There you go. All right, get down a little bit, Megan. There you go. You get some go. Push, push. That's it. Good. Sprint. Good job. Oh, good job. In, in. Hey, good job. All right. You do it, and then we're done. All right, then we're going to do the fast break, okay? Go. The only thing, what was the first name again? Huh? Jodine? You can't, you got to also see the ball, okay? See the ball, you know what? Because, you know, in drills, your coaches might throw it off your head. So, okay. All right, give me that fast break drill. Give me a big guy right here. Give me a guard and a guard on the wing. I love running the break. You know, it's funny. You play the game, and especially let's get back to youth basketball. You know, you guys get all get caught up in offenses. 80% of your shots come from what? Probably the fast break. We played great D. All the teams I ever coached there, we stressed defense. It was loose ball, rebound, boom, we owned it, and they ran the break. And I'm going to show you, we don't, the ball's moving the whole time. You remember what we're doing now? You're going to get the outlet, maybe one, two dribbles middle. Your butt's flying up there. You're getting the ball right away. He's going to throw it back to you. You're sprinting down to the outside. And it's also about footwork and passing. They're going to pass the ball right. The guy at the top is going to follow his pass, come back. He's going to step and overhead it to him, and you got a jump shot. Always reward him, okay? Throw it off the board and go. Go, 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 go. Go, sit, fire the pass, fire the pass. TJ, fire the pass. Swing it. Good job. Bring it back the other way, switch positions. No, bring it back. Other way, switch positions. All right, here you go. Yep, you can play. Go, get it out. Go, 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 go. It's probably a pass right here. Sit. Good. Hey, I'm signing you up. Hey, but here now, get back to footwork. AJ, all you guys, you catch the ball here. You see how hard it is to do this? Remember I talked about foot and ball again? How much easier it is to do that? Foot and ball. Three more people, real quick. Here you go. Always, and you know, everybody won. It's not going to happen. They can all shoot it, but it's nice to have everybody can shoot it. One more time. Go. No? All right. Now, the only thing about the other guard that's coming across here, we want him out there quicker. Guys, <coughs> hey, hey, that's better. Back step. Sometimes the best pass to make there, though, is the overhead step. It clears everything. You get this little chest pass going there. You can get people, get the ball down to guys like my level, and they can get it. You guys see that? You want to try steps. Try to step and pass over them, okay? All right, do it one more time, somebody. Get in here. The other thing about that other guard that's coming off, wherever the outlet is, hang on. He's got the outlet there, boom. You're coming to my way out, and boom. You're taking it here, whatever. You're turning right away and getting up here and always facing the basket at the same. Don't wait. Get out there, sprint, and turn and face the basket. And I know all you know that. Face the court when you run the court. Do not turn your back to the court. Okay, last time. No, 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 carry, 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 carry. Outlet's over there. It's fine. It's all right. Here's what I want you to do. Yeah, okay, it's all right. Here, girl here. Boom, you're coming down here to get the outlet. Now you're taking it right here. Get up. Go, 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 go. Get out. 
Oh, what is Hubba? Get out here wide. That's the other thing, which is a good point, coaches. You don't want to run in the middle because probably defense is in here. Why don't you get up on the sideline real quick? Boom, get going, get going. And you're just getting the ball out to him right away. You can go either way. I'm coming back to follow the ball. Boom, stepping, shooting. All right. All right, one more time. Do it again. Here. I'll go with it. I'll play the point in here, okay? You play that wing. Go ahead. Throw it off the board, and you're going to get the shot again. I got it. Boom. Got it. Take off. Go here over there. Get the ball right away to him. I haven't waited too long that time. All right? All right, okay, come back in. Now give me a fourth in here. Two, 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 and two. And there's all kinds of two-man drills. You can take it where this guy throws it off. She might not be open. If that happens, you just clear out, and then you got to read that, okay? You take it off. If she stays there, then the girl that was up there will just circle back underneath, okay? And end up over there. Here's what we'll do right here. <clears throat> Brittany, where do you want to play? You play here. You play here. T. Carrie, play there. T. Play here. You're going to throw the, throw the ball off the board just like that. Everybody do the same. Go to the outlet. Get it to her. Get out there. Get out there and go. Whoa. You're this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're, if this happens, you're going to take that automatically right there. Go. Just go. All right. And then you follow down the middle. Go. Get the ball up there. Now, hang on, hang on. All right. Now, slide down the, the block. Right here, the fourth person down. And I'm going to show you something that's so important against this. You're going to come down in here. That's why you're staying wide, okay? And you're right here, okay? And then, what's that little bounce? Oh, yeah, we talk about bounce pass in. And then, boom, you got the step and all the passing, okay? So when they bounce it into you, face, step, wherever you pass the ball, two shoots it, okay? All right, here, same, same way. So you got it, all right? Go to the side of the ball. There you go. Good. Bounce it. Step. Dang. Whoa. Whoa. That's it. Okay, give me five people in here. Stand here, Brittany. Now, get in the middle here. No, you get up in the wing. Five. So, last thing I'm going to finish with. <clears throat> Have you ever been pressed before? And this is a thing I, I take great pride in also. You might be able to press us the first time, but the drill I'm about to show you, nobody ever pressed us after. We loved it when people pressed us because the ball moves so quick and so fast. And the other thing I'm going to show you here is watch how the number four player, that person that just went down to the block, watch how valuable this is. Now, here we go. You throw the ball. Let's do this because I want to get a bigger guy in. No, you're okay. Stay here. You switch with Brittany. Brittany, come here. Stay wherever you're at there. I'm, I'm sorry. I got throw the ball off the board. All right. Outlet. Get a little closer. All right. Hey, AJ, come on, buddy. Boom. You're off. Now hang and turn the way you're supposed to turn. Atta boy. Good. Now, you threw the ball. You're in the wing. Now, we always call, if they happen to make a basket, we always call it basket Connor. And you just drill it, and you drill it, and you drill it. And if it's a dead ball situation, I can show you that too. But this is what ended up happening. This guy here becomes a good, he's got to learn how to catch the ball. He better catch the ball and better be a passer. He just slides right back in the middle, and the whole time, he is not running just down there. He's taught and drilled to be right back in here, and you stay behind the ball. A couple, just, uh, he's alert, caught, pass me the ball. You think that's going to work in a game? What, would, what kind of pass would you make in a game there? Probably a little bit quicker. If I had a big 6'6 six, six guy in there and the guy's coming up to get over your head, boom. Wherever you go, see, there you go, boom. Now you're taking it, and a lot of you right now are probably going, well, Coach Brown, God, my number four, and my, my guy in the middle, he can't catch the ball and he can't pass the ball and all that kind of stuff. Well, you've got to get him to catch the ball, but one thing you can do in the catch the ball with the footwork stuff you teach him, I got the ball here, I can go either way. Hopefully they're wide. The only time they go to the basket is if they get a wide open layup, okay? Otherwise, he turns right away. Fires it, then you go right the block. Go, go, go. Stay wide. Follow, take the ball a couple dribbles down. Right in here. Right here, right here. <clears throat> now I'm going to tell you something, and this is how, if you guys look at this and you've got any kind of basketball history, this is a Celtic fast break. This is nothing new. It still works today. We ran this at South Dakota State when I played. 
It's great. We still run it today. Every team I've ever taught runs it, okay? I, a, lot of, a lot of teams I've coached weren't the most athletic teams, but boy, they knew how to pass. They knew how to, everybody knew where they're at. This person right here, and I know she can shoot it. You got everybody down there taking away over the head right here. Always had this player that could shoot the basketball. And then if she can shoot it, you got your good footwork down here with the post down here. You got the ball. He's coming right back in here. And then we're all, and I run a lot of spread stuff when I play offense, okay? A lot of screening, a lot of down screening. Everybody's moving. Ball goes in the middle. You got screens coming from everywhere. And the footwork thing down here that you saw the, uh, Brittany do a minute ago, this is so valuable. I'm not a big guy that catches the ball and then pass across your body. I think that wastes time. And you got too many things, just like a golf swing. The more you think about it, the more you put it into your golf swing, the poorer you hit it. Same thing here. I got it. Turn, quick, fire. Turn, quick, fire, and just keep pushing and use your feet. Everything gets back to moving the feet, following the ball, okay? Adam, it's 9.45. Am I done? 9.41. I still got four minutes. Let's do this. Are there any questions from anybody on anything that they'd like to see uh, or do or... Yeah, come up. Yeah, come back here. Let's go. Yeah, I do a couple different press breaks, but what I like about this, <clears throat> and again, it all depends on your personnel. Let's go in a dead ball situation. I always have three take it out, and I got one is over here, and you can you can bet because I have that, and you got five here, but you can switch. Go in there, get up farther or start here. One. And two's always on the side. I like two on the side because just like a, that's the thing. You get them to where they're going to be. They get drilled knowing where they're at. Four or then five, the big person's over there. Big fella. Over there, okay? I love you, hon, but I'm going to put you right here right now, okay? You're coming off the bench. All right. There are different ways. And one thing, too, everything that we run all goes back in, ends up the same down there, okay? And then you might have a drag screen or something down the end if you got to do that, but you throw, I, I'd never hardly enter the ball right here because how many guys want the ball entered there? The best play, now I'm, this is against a zone press, okay, a zone. And this is again on a dead ball situation. The person in our offense that gets the ball the most against the press breakers right here because everybody's always cheating away. You got them going like this, boom, coming right back to the ball, boom, come on. And then the same thing applies, right? And you know, stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. A lot of times that'll happen. You might have to come right here or... If I haven't got it and they can't get me the trap, I may take it on dribble, then you just stay in the middle and keep going. Where's one coming? Right, keep going then. Come right back. Go, go. Get right, right, right here, one. Come toward. There's the other thing. You guys know this. Don't run away from me. Come towards me. Okay? And if I get the ball, but, you know, and then keep coming, I'll get, probably what I'll end up doing is getting the ball to him, and you're five. So coming here, get the ball to one of us on the wing. Boom. Get it over there. Go. Where are you going? Four. You're, there you go. Good. Good. Nice reverse pivot. All right? The only thing about a bounce pass, what did I tell you yesterday? Or when are you going to throw the ball in the post? Bounce it. Okay? All right, one more time. Let's go back the other way. I'll show another one. But let's do this like in a free throw situation. I can share this with you. <clears throat> I also coach girls youth basketball. Those girls are all juniors now. And they were uh, eighth graders. And we took second in the state championship with that same group. Here's how we got to the finals. Uh, five, I'm not, let's put it this way, let's go, uh, uh, five's right here, four's right here, out of, uh, free throw situation, line up, five and four here, <clears throat> one, you're on top, three's over there, two's right here, right here, okay, so, we run everything out of the fa same thing, we just call it fast break, I'll never forget it. There's seven seconds to go, and we're down by one against what we thought was the best team in the state at that time. All I got up, I had no timeouts left. Pretty poor coaching, huh? Seven seconds to go, no timeouts. Anyway, just get up and go, uh, fat, uh, go press breaker or uh, basket counter, and that's exactly what we did. Girl, the only thing, the girl missed it, which was good. So, where we got the rebound, boom. We got the ball right away. Get the rebound, boom. R one, take off right here. You're just taking off. Two's taking off up there. All right, three, Brittany, up there. All right, boom. What happened real quick was this. He got the ball right here. Get the ball right here. Four, you're in the middle. Right here. Four's in the middle, boom. Come right up here. She saw it as a ball. Always have to go here, no. Everybody was playing here. That girl there was wide open. The girl made a great read about right where Brittany was at, hit a three-pointer, and we won. 
you know, I was pretty lucky, but still, what was the bottom line of that? Everybody was in position and knew where they had to be and we got a good shot off. And you know, that's the most important thing is getting a good shot off. I preach to our guys all the time. A poor shot's a turnover. God, I hate poor shots. I know you guys do too. You know, guys that force things. And we talk about and anything that, if you got a good shot and a good look at, and I'll tell you, all five or all, any of these people that are playing for me, you got a good shot and it's in your range, you shoot the basketball. You take their confidence away, they're never going to score for it when you need it. And so you just drill it and put them in situations all the time, make it competitive where they can do that. So uh, we do all those kind of things, but and, uh, <coughs> it works for you. Just got to keep doing it, doing it. Practice. Sometimes your practice time is limited and you want to run plays, but things like this. Defense, rebounding, run the break, pass the ball. You do those things really well. I don't care what level you're at. And don't get so caught up in putting in a flex or uh, this or that because if you do it right, that's going to be most of your offense. And we score and we run a lot. Of you know, look at me. Again, I always go back to being 5'10". Bottom line is, I like the open court. I mean, it's a lot easier to shoot the basketball when I don't have many guys guarding me. And much as it is when you get in a 5-on-5 five five set, which as you guys all know, it's always tougher in a 5-on-5 five five set. Anyway, I want to thank these guys tremendously. They have been absolutely outstanding. We've had a great crowd. Joe and Adam, uh, Matt and I can't think, thank you for having us up here. I've really enjoyed my time up here. I hope we can come back. We hope, I know you're Toronto, and I'll tell you what, we, I've, we like told Matt and I, we've seen the Raptors, we're wishing them well. But if you ever want to come down to a Timberwolves game, uh, get a hold of us through these guys. I'm sure you can get our numbers or through Matt and, and get you down here. The last thing I want to talk about is that yesterday I brought up the fact that uh, Matt's very good at this. What he does, one of, one of his things is pregame court time, bringing teams down to play basketball before uh, a Timberwolves game. And it can be youth basketball. It's a lot of youth basketball mostly, or if you get a high school team, probably in your case. So we get high school teams that they'll, they, you have to move another game. But the bottom line of that is, if you guys ever want to come down to the Target Center, get a hold of Matt. And, uh, you know, if you want to play against, uh, you know, you got two teams up here to play against each other, whether it be high school or youth league. You know, come on down and we'll get you tickets all set up. You got to play. We got to be done by 5 o'clock. Game's usually at 7. Or do it on a weekend and uh, it's good stuff and uh, get a chance to come down to Twin Cities and, oops, come down to Twin Cities and, uh, and watch uh, Timberwolves play against and maybe you can catch it with Toronto. I don't know when we'll play Toronto anyway. So, all right, enough. Thank you again. Pleasure. Thanks, Coach. Hey, come here. Were there any other uh, any questions before we let Coach Brown go? He's, he does have to head over to Tech Vock right away for our, uh, okay. our players' okay. camp that's running. No, oh, okay. Let's <laughs> keep, uh, actually let's do a, uh, a couple door prizes with regards to uh, what Steve was just talking about with regards hey, to tickets. Joe.